In this video today, I will tell you exactly why you may have gotten Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. For those of you guys who are joining today, my name is Dr. Samir Islam, and yes, I am your poop guru. My passion is to give you tips and tricks to help out with your gut health. If you're new to these video series, every Thursday around this time, I drop the deuce on one question you guys may have for the week on your gut health. At any point in time in the video, click on the show notes down below to get more information on what you can do to help out with your gut health. Before we continue, don't forget to smash the like button so you can get more videos just like this one. But today's video actually comes from a question that a patient asked me who said, hey, Dr. Islam, I have a diagnosis of Crohn's disease. How did I get this? This is a very common question that we get. And a lot of people ask me when you suffer from Crohn's disease or inflammatory bowel disease or ulcerative colitis, a lot of people ask me, how did I get this? Now the overall answer is that we don't quite know why people develop this condition. We know there's an interaction from a lot of different things. One of the things that we do know is that there is some component of genetics involved. What I mean by that is that there are certain genes that are expressed in patients who have Crohn's disease or have ulcerative colitis that makes them more prone to develop this particular condition. We are currently teasing out what those genes are, but we don't know. We do know there are certain genes that we can follow or check for that may make you more likely to develop this condition, but also make you more likely to develop complications from this condition. The second reason why you may be developing this issue is that it could be the environment that we're in. We know that certain areas of the world tend to make it more likely, likely for you to develop Crohn's or ulcerative colitis. We know that currently in the United States, there's a rising incidence from that, so we do know that environment plays a role. The third reason is that we know that, that there may be a role when it comes to food. There are certain foods that we don't quite know yet, but does tend to make it more of an inflammatory condition inside the GI tract. And we also know that there are certain foods that tend to produce more inflammation, and that inflammation also can lead to worsening colitis or Crohn's. Another reason could actually be your ancestry. So there are certain groups in the world that makes it more likely to develop Crohn or colitis. And so there are certain ethnic groups that we know tend to have this particular condition and there's something within that ethnicity that tends to make you have worsening colitis or Crohn's disease. So these are a couple of reasons why you may be developing Crohn's or colitis. Some of these conditions we can't change there are some of these conditions which we can change. And one of the best recommendations that I can recommend for our patients who have diseases such as Crohn's, colitis, or Crohn's is seeing if you can alter your diet. There's not very great studies on this, so I want you kind of just to preface with this. But we do know that a diet that's less in red meat, less in charred meat, and more of a vegetable type diet with more fiber tends to improve symptoms of your colitis. But in addition, we do know that there are some clinical trials which suggest that making that change in your diet can actually affect the outcome of your colitis. So if there's one thing I wanna recommend for you if you can change, is to see if you can change your diet. I wanna thank you guys for watching this video. Every Thursday, I drop the deuce where I give one Poop Tip Thursday for the week to help out with your gut health. If you want to be featured on the next Poop Tip Thursday, don't forget to comment and send me an email. But make sure you follow me on my pages. I look forward to seeing you guys on more videos. Thanks and take care. Have a great and happy and healthy day.